in this video we will discuss about laboratory hazards and their safety measures first we want to know what is hazards laboratory hazards how we will define injury or risk while working in the laboratory is called as laboratory hazards it causes injuries or hazards to our body there are three type of hazards chemical hazard physical hazard and biological hazard hazards occurred by different chemicals is called as chemical hazards there are different type discuss one by one first one is toxic the chemical which causes serious acute or chronic infection what is toxic it causes serious acute or chronic infection example potassium cyanide second one is flammable component this chemical which ignites that means it causes fire and burn it is responsible for fire risk in the laboratory so flammable component is responsible for fire risk in laboratory example toluene diethyl ether harmful chemicals the chemical when swallowed can causes limited effect on health example copper sulfate when inhale or absorbed through skin it causes harmful effect next one is irritant the chemical which can causes irritation so this chemical can causes irritation or inflammation of skin mucous member and respiratory tract the chemical can causes irritation and inflammation of skin mucous membrane and respiratory tract example acetic acid and ammonia solution corrosive this chemical when injected or inhaled destroying living tissue so many acid and alkaline so the chemical when we inject or inhaled it will destroying our tissue example H2SO4 phenyl and alkaline last chemical hazards is explosive the chemical which explodes by heat or flame etc example sodium acid perchloric acid perchloric acid so the chemical which exploded by heat and flame it causes explosive example sodium acid and perchloric acid next hazard physical hazard hazards occurred by physical agent it is called as physical hazard there are two types first one is fire due to frequent use of matches open flames and highly flammable chemicals responsible for fire risk in the laboratory so frequent uses of matches open flame and highly flammable chemicals is responsible for fire risk second type of physical hazard electric hazard can occur by with hands to switch pouring water on electrical wire or extension cord these are the way it will causes physical hazards it can occur by with hand to switch pouring water on electrical wire and extension cord next last type of hazard biological hazard 
occurred by different biological agent. Example, blood, serum, plasma, CSF, urine sample, sputum, biological tissue, etc. can be biological causes and can cause serious infection. It causes HIV, hepatitis B like viral infection also. So, these are the hazards considered as biological hazard agent. Next one is safety measures. How we will define that uh, safety measure? The precaution to prevent the laboratory hazard is called safety measure. The precaution, this one prevent the laboratory hazard name is called as safety measure. First, uh, we will discuss about that chemicals hazard safety measure. Never taste any chemicals. First important thing is never taste any chemical in laboratory. Then never add water in concentrated acid. Then uh, we can store all concentrated chemical must be stored at floor level. So what are the three things very important? Never taste any chemical. Then never add any water in concentrated acid then this concentrated acid must be stored at floor level next wash hand carefully after handling hazardous chemicals then don't mouth pipette any chemicals then always wear personal protective equipment while working in laboratory it included face mask gloves lap apron covered shoes google etc next precaution against them physical hazards don't allow smoking in laboratory don't use fried wire and extension card don't touch electrical switch in wet hand. Then keep only small amount of highly flammable component. This will prevent fire hazards in laboratory. Last one is precaution against the biological hazard. Always wear personal protective equipment to prevent biological hazards. Use sodium hypochloride solution. It acts as a disinfectant. Then properly dispose blood samples and blood collecting syringes. So these are the safety measures used against the laboratory hazards, physical, chemical and biological hazards. Thanks for watching.